please introduce yourself. Um, my name is Kanon Nakamatsu. I'm 16 years old. <laughs> I, I came here from America about a year ago. Hello, my name is Lejis Kido. I was born in Japan and I lived in Indonesia for 13 I was born in Japan and I lived in Indonesia for 13 years. Hello, my name is Afia. Wait, I'm Afia. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. And I'm the IB visual arts teacher at Sendai Ikuri Gakuen. What kind of person do you want to be in the future? Well, I don't really have like a role model or anything, but I would really love to be a person who could really help each other and caring. I'm sure that I want to be a person who is uh, valuable to the world and to give my every effort to help those people who in need. If you are a person who I would like to be someone that always influences young people and helps them to achieve their goals. Be rational and only look at the facts when there's like a conflict or something so that I can be fair to everyone around me. Uh, from my perspective, it's, it is very important to have an open mind. It will help you connect more with like the people around you. I do think that it's important that we are aware of our own community and global community. But also having an open mind would help you understand why someone acts like that or why they are like that. It's important that students, young adults are aware of things that goes on in their own country and I think it's also important that they at least have an idea of what's going on in the world. It makes them better prepared for conversations. Oh, it will be easier to build relationships between each other and more cooperations with different people so that we can have a better communication environment in purpose to share our opinions. It could lead to um, solving those global problems too. Um, obviously, school is important to just like learn the basics and everything. Um, when I lived in Indonesia, I had an experience where some of my friends in other schools couldn't really get um, um, some satisfactory in um, education. Uh, it is very unfair to those children who are unable to get an proper education. But I think also like the experience you can get from school and connections you can make with like the people around you are all like so important. So I feel everyone should have the right to go to school. I was a bit sad of course for them but not to only feel sad for them but um, I should try to like help for them. And it's not a matter of education is openly available but it's can you afford to come to our schools. It should not be like that. It is very ironic that even we have a plenty of good resources to study but a lot of us don't want to study really well. So it's important that everyone has access to information or education. It's important that the government sees how important education is to the whole country and it's also important culturally. And about the solution. It's a matter of who the problem should be solved by. First is to actually know the problems of the world and also about the education. Um, happening around the world. I am a high schooler probably. The most I could do is use like social media or something to spread the message and that way maybe we can connect with someone with the power to actually make a difference. The only way that I can think about is that to solve the problems of huge gaps between rich and poor around the whole world. Governments should try their best to ensure that education is accessible. 
and um, then each society has their own their own understandings or beliefs of how education should be addressed to tell everyone about the problem and like think how to solve the problems too. and we can actually use or get like things or programs in donation or things like that so we can help those children without access to education and send those necessary needs like books and money to somewhere that really requires it the benefits of an educated population is that the country itself moves forward. That's like the easiest way to say it. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.